Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I actually had to change locations because my school moved to Oceana. I don't know if you're familiar with that base, but hey, this is where I am. I'm going to be leaving for California in a few, but first let's go ahead and review. This is what we got here, 1985 G.I. Joe Snowcat with Frostbite. Hey, it's a nice looking tank or whatever, missile launcher. <laughs> Snowmobile, whatever the heck it is. Hey, it's cool. What can I say? It looks good. Nice white, nice black, good contrast. Well, woo, look at it. As far as details, it rolls fine enough, and oh boy, Frostbite can drive it. That's him right there. Looking pretty, you know, smiling pretty heavily. <laughs> and he does have a big gun, M16, with a humongous sniper rifle, but I'll show you that later on. Look, I don't have any size comparisons because I forgot to bring any toys over here. I'm still living in a hotel, but look at these wheels. Beautiful, it rolls around. These tank treads are for show. Um, black, they're black. <laughs> and uh, let's see, they have these little false wheels on the bottom. Yeah, let's see, there we go. Do, 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 do. So that's how they roll. Okay, uh, I don't know if they have any storage on the bottom. Hasbro 85, so you can tell. Good, sturdy wheels here. I love the wheels, they're nice, nice white. Uh, the driver can definitely drive. You can see the inside of the cockpit right there. Uh, sorry, I'm in the AV aviation community, so yeah, that's what I call everything. Stick shift, everything nicely molded. I don't know if you can catch the detail. Let me take out frostbite over here. So yeah, I mean the details are pretty good. Two seats, so two people can ride. So don't have another Joe, but I like the uh, transparent or semi what opaqueness of this. The, the windshield wipers on the front actually works pretty good. I don't know if you can tell there's a little dust on there. That's all right. I need to clean this. Oh well. And a little sticker because it's not too bad. It has two missiles on this missile ramp. Oh, I guess in the show these ski missiles actually ski down the runway. It doesn't happen right here. So you got nice two ski missiles. Good detail there. Uh, there should be a missile housing for four missiles, but I don't have that. But you do see that you can actually do repairs to the engine just by removing that. So there we go. Very Star Wars uh, in the molding because that reminds me of, I don't know, a TIE fighter or something like that. So it does come with four missiles. And let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, they should, if I had the missile launcher housing, go right up on here. So four extra missiles, got to get the housing, make it 100% complete. Cause man, I have to, I have to. This thing is kind of neat. Let's see, old boy. Standard posability. Take this, this frostbite. Good, good looking. I mean, he's a, he's. It shows up pretty white, but actually, he's a more should be that color of white actually let's see you can see the top of his head right there has a little beanie it's actually off color white i don't know if you can tell it has his gun molded in and everything uh, let's see this is actually more of an egg eggshell or what do you call that uh, i don't know what color white <laughs> but anyways same articulation bicep articulation rivets on the shoulder there so it can move in and out uh, single joint no uh, bicep swivel no wrist swivel, waist swivel, head swivels, actually it's a neck. And let's see, knee joint, and that's about it. So, that's okay for articulation. If he wants to hold his gun, he certainly can. But look, there we go. Yeah, there he is with his M16. Right on. Looking good. Let's zoom in, you know, why not? There we go. Looking good, bro. Looking good. Hey, I like this figure. What can I say? If it had all the missile launching gimmicks, I'll still like it. Not bad for a figure from 1985. Alright, let's give it an 8 out of 10 because, hey, I do like it. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. Now, catch you all next time.